Welcome Ignite Conference 2020. We are so happy to have you here with us. We are grateful that you took this opportunity to join us for this Ignite Conference. Amen. We are so glad that you came to join us and we are glad that you took the time to invest your money, ladies, into this Ignite Conference. I am your fire starter, Key Coley, and we are ready to start the fire of God with worship, with praise, with word, with worship, with honor, right where you are in your homes. We are bringing this virtual revival right to you. So this is our night number one. Get ready for an awesome experience. Get ready to praise God. Get ready to worship God. Get ready to lift up the name of Jesus as we ignite the fire of God right into our home. So we're getting ready to encounter God with some praise, with some worship. Turn up your TV, turn up your phone because we're getting ready to make a sound right here in the place. Come on, Ignite 2020. Let's go. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, stand up in your homes, wherever you find yourself, and let's lift up the worst, the name of the Lord on this place on tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and bless him. Come on, would you put your hands together right there in your living room, at your desk, wherever you are. Join us in worship on tonight. Come on, let's ignite our time in worship with the praise right there. Say hallelujah. We give you glory, Jesus. We honor your name, Lord. Hey. Come on, put your hands together right Prayers 
of living water because you filled us. Open our hearts, we're open, Lord. Open our minds, we're open, Lord. Open our hearts, we're open, Lord. Open our minds, we're open, Lord. Say, open our hearts, we're open, Lord. Open our minds, we're open, Lord. Open our hearts, we're open, Lord. Open our minds, we're open. Come on, I dare you to declare it tonight. Open our hearts, we're open, Lord. Open our minds. Open our hearts, open our minds, sing open, 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 open our hearts, open our hearts, say open our minds, open our hearts, remove the stones, God, yes. Father, we worship you in spirit and in truth. Father, we come like the woman at the well tonight. For you to ignite our hearts, ignite our minds, ignite our souls, God. Through us drinking from your well. Just like in the natural body, we cannot live without water. The same way in the spirit, we cannot go without that spiritual water, that living water. So, Father, tonight we drink. We open ourselves, Lord, for you to pour out on us. Father, we bring our buckets for you to fill it up, Lord. Oh, Father, we bless your name, Jesus. Cry out, oh. You are. 
So, Father, we thank you, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify you, we magnify you because you are wonderful, you are holy, you are kind, you are loving, and we love you tonight, God. We build an altar of prayer right where we are, Father. We ask God that you will search our hearts and that you will search our minds and that you will remove anything that is not like you. Purify us tonight, God. Purify us in your presence. Burn up, God, everything that is not like you. Fire of God, burning us tonight, creating us a clean heart, God, and renew a right spirit in us, Father. We want nothing to hinder our prayers and we want nothing to hinder our prayers from being answered so we say tonight God have your way in us have your way in our family have your way in our houses have your way in our spouses have your way in our cities have your way Jesus father we call on you but we know there's power in the name of Jesus there is healing in the name of Jesus there is deliverance in the name of Jesus at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord so we call on you Jesus 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 we lift up a praise and we lift up a worship we make a sound a victory right in our house father for you are God you are the greatest intercessor you are the greatest intercessor when we cry out you deliver her and you answer when we cry you deliver and you answer you are a very present help in the time of trouble so we call on your name Jesus so we call on your name Jesus in the name of Jesus we come against every spirit that is not like you we come against every spirit of confusion every spirit of demonic forces we pull down every denomination we cast down every imagination in the name of Jesus Satan you have no power and you have no dominion get your hands off our family get your hands off our children get your hands off our marriages get your hands off our country we declare we are covered by the blood of Jesus. We are covered. We are covered. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. Yevashetena, hore me kosona, mashetia, rabashe, ona mashe. We declare healing come, healing from every sickness. Every disease, the spirit of sickness and affliction, you must go. We curse diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, thyroid disease, liver disease, kidney disease. 
Jesus. We bind it uh, now in the name of Jesus. Uh, we declare we are healed uh, and we are whole. Migraines uh, must go. Uh, sinus pressure must go. Uh, allergies uh, must go. Uh, every sickness uh, you are canceled out uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, let me Every depression, you must go. Oppression, you must go. Every anxiety, you must go. You have no power. You must leave in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we come against every infirmity of the body. Blood pressure, you must come to subject. Sugar diabetes, you must come to subject. Every spirit of barrenness, you must be healed in the name of Jesus. I don't care what your sickness is. I challenge you to lay your hands on yourself. Wherever the affliction is, put your hands on yourself. And we decree now tonight that we are healed and we are whole. We are no longer sick. Arthritis must be healed. Tendinitis must be healed. Carpal tunnel must be healed. Whatever the sickness is, lay your hands on yourself. Your heart must beat. If it's lung disease, we ask the wind of God will breathe fresh breath into your lungs. In the name of Jesus, whatever the sickness, whatever the disease, we apply the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood, we seal it with the blood, we apply with the blood, we cover with the blood, the blood of Jesus. I am a shape. The blood of Jesus, I am. So we speak now to your household. Whatever you're needing in your house, we declare tonight that God will meet the need. We pray for marriages today. We declare that every confusion is now wiped out. We declare the love of God will come into your home and come into your marriage. We pray for children tonight, wherever your child may be, we apply the blood of Jesus to cover your children, to cover your family. In the name of Jesus, as the children of Israel apply the blood over the doorposts, we declare when we see the blood that they have to pass over. In the name of Jesus, every sickness, every spirit that is not like God, must leave your home tonight dark and light cannot function in the same place but we declare our house belong to God we declare our children belong to God we declare our family belong to God whatever you're standing in need of we declare tonight that God will meet the need right where you are just begin to open your mouth God, we surrender. We surrender. We surrender, God. Whatever you're going to do, whatever you're doing, God, we trust you. We trust you, Father. Not our will, God, but your will be done. We say, Father, have your way. Spirit of God, fall fresh on us. Spirit of God, break every shackle. Loose every chain in the name of Jesus. Send a revival to our homes in the name of Jesus. Send a revival to our cities in the name of Jesus. 
send a revival to our churches in the name of Jesus we apply the blood of Jesus let the blood cover and the blood prevail we say father have your way we say God have your way have your way we welcome you do whatever you need to do we avail ourselves to you God we say father let your will be done move God move by your power somebody needs a miracle but you are a miracle worker somebody's family is laying in the hospital but your prayers is right there with them God whatever the miracle is whatever the need is you are more than able because you are the great deliverer you are the need meeting God and there's nothing too hard for you so we call on you Jesus we call on you Jesus work a miracle we declare miracles signs and wonders will follow we declare we come into agreement miracles signs and wonders will follow we declare miracles signs and wonders will follow we trust you and we believe you God and we believe Jesus that it is so even now, God, you're working a miracle. Even now, God, you're doing it for us. I don't care if you believe that God has forgotten about you. I'm here to tell you today he has not forgotten. God is not slack concerning his promise. If he said it, it will come to pass. If he spoke it, it will happen. Hold on don't let go don't give hope don't give up on God it's coming your miracle is on the way I dare you to type in the chat my miracle is on the way my miracle is happening now my breakthrough is on the way my financial breakthrough my mental breakthrough my healing breakthrough it's on the way we declare it is now we declare it shall happen for the promises of God are yea and amen for God is not like man he will not lie if he said it it shall and it will come to pass so we say father we say God we thank you and we praise you and we believe God that it is so that it is so that it is so that it is so and it's already done we say God we give you praise we give you praise God and we give you glory we thank you father we thank you father come on come on and clap your hands and open your mouth and tell god thank you thank you for working a miracle thank you for stepping in right on time thank you for delivering thank you for healing me thank you for setting me free thank you jesus we thank you we thank you god And it is so. It's in Jesus' name that we seal this prayer. The name that's above every name. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Right where you are, just begin to clap your hands and thank God because it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. At this time, we're getting ready to transform into our communion portion. As I told you guys, God gave me two special um, commands for this conference. And one of them was for us to fast and pray before the conference began. And the second one was for us to take a corporate communion. You may say, why are we taking communion? The Bible tells us as often as we should, we should do this as we commemorate the blood that was shed on Calvary. It's a renewal of our covenant with Jesus Christ. So if you can go into your Ignite kits, grab your communion cups as we prepare 
to partake on the Lord's last suffering together as we do this corporately to renew our covenant with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. body of Christ which was broken for us you may take this and this is the blood that was shed for me for you for all of our sins you may drink all of it we thank God for his sacrifice we thank for the blood that was shed thousands of years ago. For we know without the shedding of blood, there couldn't be any remission of sin. Because of his sacrifice, the work has already been finished. That means healing already belongs to you. Deliverance belongs to you because Jesus sacrificed his life just for you. 
We thank you for joining us tonight on our first night of our Ignite Conference. We pray that this has been a blessing to you. I challenge you, get your notebooks out, get your pills out. God is getting ready to do a great thing during this conference. Take your notebooks and I want you to write three things that you want God to do for you during the next three days. And we're going to stand in agreement and believe God for whatever it is that you want God to do. Tomorrow morning, I will be back with you at 10 o'clock for a powerful workshop that I believe that a great word that God has gave me just for you. And then tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock, Pastor Fanika Friend from All Nations Atlanta will be here with us. Don't forget to invite your friend. Registration is still going on. If they want to come on in, it may be a little late, but we'll still let them come in because we want everybody to be included on this amazing thing that God is getting ready to do in us. Have a great night.